Okay, this is a sample recording. I'm testing to see if the screen recorder works on my Win7 machine. As you'll notice, uh, it turns out that this coming Wednesday, March 20th, is the March Equinox of 2013, which implies that um, we're a year ahead. I have to think about that. You know, there's always this plus one, minus one rounding issue. So are we really a year ahead or are we right spot on time? What do you think? Let me know. Okay, this is the season's calculator at timeanddate.com. And I need to bookmark the page because I didn't do it before. I'll stick it in Hebrew study tools for now. Okay, I'm at the section of season's calculator and, I, and down here you can set the years Okay, it's it's set for one it, it, 180 and 49 AD right now. Okay, and then down here at the bottom, you can you can set the location. Okay, and I've got it set for Israel because that makes sense. And then here you set the years, and since they've reset the years, I'll just show you how to do it. One to 49. Okay, now they caution you. This is local mean time for Jerusalem, and they caution you. That it's UTC, which is almost the same as Greenwich Mean Time, plus two hours and twenty, you know, twenty-one minutes. Okay. It's using the Julian calendar, so I'm hoping for a consistency here. Okay. In the year that he died, according to the way we measure time, and we want to use that same measure to be consistent, because it's also consistent with both dates in the Ju in the um, Veronic Roman AUC calendar. We're using 30 AD, okay, and they're saying that that is occurring just after midnight, local to Israel. In other words, it would be considered what we call March 23rd on their calendar. They wouldn't call it March 23rd, they would call it 1 Nisan, okay? So that's the first day, so, so 14 days after that would be the 14th of Nisan. So 14 days after that, in, in that year, was a Wednesday. All right? So the Wednesday, Wednesday means that the beginning of the year in their terms was a Thursday. Because 14 days after that. Okay? The 15th day after that would be another Thursday, because that would be eight days, you know? If you're coming on the next day. All right, so now we're going to go to our year, keeping the time local to Jerusalem, because it seems to me that that's logical to do. So now we're going to 2000, 2449, and now we come to 2013, and that's March 20th, which is a Wednesday. Okay, so 14 days after March 20th, which is a Wednesday, is a Tuesday. So that would mean that, um, technically, that would mean that the number of years are divisible by seven. So if we got the right number of years here, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong about that. Okay, that's 1,983 years difference. Let, let me let me go ahead and just do the math here. All right, if I divide that by seven, is that divisible by seven? No. Okay, so I, I'm having another brain fart. I always have a brain fart with this kind of calculation. I don't know, my brain just goes off. Okay, but the point is, is that this year, which would be considered, you know, the 2013th year also, measured on the same standard for the Jewish year, because the Jewish year starts, you know, within the first three months of our year, so it rounds off to the same year. Okay, so 2013 in our year. Okay, we're coming up therefore on a Tuesday. The following year, 2014, should also be a Wednesday. All right, but and that's occurring, and this is where it gets tricky. This is occurring before sundown this year, but this is occurring after sundown Israel time. So they would call that March 21. 
even though it's a Wednesday, they're going to call it March 21. Because on their calendar, the day starts, you know, at sundown. Except it's not even really March 21. It's, it's one Nissan of what we would call 2014. The question is, is that really 2014? Okay. And it, it sounds like it would be. But am I missing something? Because look it. We go back. Okay, here's year 1 through 49. We come to 30 AD. The vernal equinox is on what we call March 23rd. So there's a two-day, three-day variance in the vernal equinox. Isn't that cute? Three-year variance, three-day variance. God wants to keep the three-day, three-year difference in front of our faces, doesn't he? There's a three-day variance there. So is it really Wednesday, or are we three days short? Or, yeah, it's really Wednesday because you got those leap years. You see what I'm saying? So it seems to me like I'm leaving something out of the calculation. I can't just do it simply like I'm doing it now, saying, hi, this was the vernal equinox. March 23rd is what we call it. Okay. But it was definitely a Wednesday when he died, two weeks later after this date right here highlighted. Okay. So that would be relative to 2014 would be the next Wednesday. Okay, relative to 2013, it should be a Tuesday, and it is, which implies that we're not missing any years unless I'm oversimplifying the calculation. So tell me what you think, because I, I, my mind is just fried right now. Thanks a lot. Bye.